This is a house in, in Charlotte. I'm dealing with another investor in Charlotte. And as a house, she's asking 136000 The values I saw was like 130 was the highest, but everything be subject off to appraisal. So I have a customer that I've been working with as far as getting her in the buying position. You know, we kind of grooming along, helping her get her credit straight. There's another program on it that helps them get, get their, you know, credit straight and educate them on home buying. It's a home buying uh, program with mm-hmm. John Fuller, the other group. So she's, she's, she's about there. So um, at, at, she's asking 136. She owes 70,000. This is an investor. I personally know her. So I'm trying to see if the, the two options of just, if the buyer can't just straight out and get a traditional loan and buy it, then she could probably do a subject, not, yeah, subject to or a lease option with the buyer that I'm sending her. You know what I mean? If she can't get a traditional loan. Are you going to try to stay in the middle of the deal? Or are you just sending your buyer I'm, I'm, as a friend? I'm just sending the buyer over there and getting about five to 7000 just for sending her a customer okay. out of the deal to that investor. Mm-hmm. So I'm helping them both out, but I'm just getting, you know, like a real estate CEO, you know, basically. Yeah. Um, just, for, just for getting the buyer that can buy the house because she sure. can't find a one to buy the house. Okay. Uh. I wanted to present the options um, of, you know, lease, lease option or, or a subject to if she can't do a straight out, qualify for a loan, a straight out buy the house. Um, but between the seller, my question is between the seller finance and the and lease option, I don't know what one would be bad. She's S136. She owes 70000 on it. So she does well, have some equity. The, the best, but the best way, the best way to exit a property with terms in North Carolina is a lease option because it's the easiest way to get the house back in case the buyer defaults. Got you. The got key. you. Yeah. So you're just going to, I mean, you're just going to suggest to her that she sell it on a lease option to these people. And I assume they've got a big down payment and she's going to pay you a little bit out of whatever she receives from their down payment. Um, payment. Well, that buyer doesn't have a big down payment. So where is she coming yeah. up with the five grand to pay you a nice referral fee? Is she just coming out of pocket for that? That's on the sale though. That's only if she sell if she's able to get a traditional and buy the house at one thirty six because she has okay. she only owes seventy, so she got a profit spread. You know, but if she does a seller, I guess a seller finance or a lease option, she won't be able to give me that because she's not getting any money. Right. Right. <laughs> but maybe, maybe I could do that back on the back end when she does buy the house, then she can satisfy me. After the term. Yeah, but sure. now, now, now you're waiting on the money, though. We, we want the money yeah. now. We do you know? want the money now. Yeah, we are about the money now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would sacrifice helping them out because I know both of them and, you know, wait on the money just because I understand the buyer situation. Disabled vet, bad back, living on the third floor and needs to get out of the apartment. So, yeah, I'll also give you a word of advice here. I wouldn't get too involved with your buyers. Uh, you, you need to have, uh, as, as Ron Legrand told me one time, you got to have bigger balls and a blacker heart if you want to, like, really do this thing. Ah, I, I wouldn't get a blacker heart. That's, bigger never balls heard that and one. a blacker heart. Like a, yeah. a black, burned-up heart that doesn't care about nobody. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I understand I mean. the big balls with the black heart. I'm like, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah, okay. like, like an evil. Not <laughs> that you're evil, but that you just don't right. care. <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. You can't get them emotion. I know you can't get them emotions involved for sure. Right. Kind of taints your judgment at times. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's, that's and that's why I have here. to work with that. Yeah, it is. That's why I have to work. I have to work on that, man, because my heart to get it you know, get me in trouble sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But you're right. You're right. If you worry about their needs first, then their needs will be served first, and yours will be someplace down the line. Maybe never. So yeah. and it, you and gotta it cost me money. Yeah, as, as, as Ron would tell you, also another Ronism is you, you know, you get paid first. You're the, you're right. the guy putting the deal together. You should get paid first. Right. Yeah. This is true. Okay. Yeah. And you can always tell them, listen, here's a deal. You can have your problem taken care of, your problem being getting this house sold and all that. You can have it taken care of tomorrow. Uh, it's going to cost you, you know, 5,000 bucks or whatever, but, you know, or, or okay. don't. Thank <laughs> you.